Dear boy, who sent the text? Can we be no strings attached? I do hereby honor your illiterate ass because your text does not deserve this reply, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. It's not, you are not the first of your kind, and you are unfortunate because I have now found my voice. So I shall speak my truth, taking my time as I look at your idiotic text. I am not too naive to not comprehend fully what stringless arrangements are about. So you want the cream without the cake, to swim in my waters without maintaining them. Your ideal situation is that I be available at night like a torch, or better still, 24-7 like a private premium toilet to relieve your pressures without cleaning up the mess you shall leave behind. You don't want to be real. You enjoy to travel mad, hiding from light and warmth, disguising your scars with indifference. You could not handle the joy of being seen for who and what you truly are. You're afraid of what you will find if you choose to be vulnerable. If you face your childhood inadequacies, you speak of being adults now. I do not need reminding of the level of maturity I have reached in order to permit you into my inside space. After all, better to be like a child whose honesty is untainted, whose sense of self is absolute. Looking at that hideous text makes me want to say, damn you, boy with no strings, but wants to be treated and respected like a man. Yes, I said it, damn you. Damn you for being confident enough to even ask me. Damn you for you and your insecurities, which I have no doubt you want to project onto me. Damn you and your sad stringless existence. I am not living in the closet with or without you. As to reply, your text for no strings attached, the answer is nope. I have lots of strings to share. You can be on your way, Pinocchio. May you one day turn your, from wood to a real boy and hopefully to a man who can appreciate his and my worth.